Get ready to work, friends, but don't worry, we'll make it fun. We're going to take a look at some of the lesser known perks that can be unlocked by partaking in careers, with a focus on those that come with early expansion packs up to and including island living, and we'll also add in and look at the military career from the Strangerville game pack too. Now I'm using a little bit of my judgement to determine what to highlight, but in general, I won't be looking at money or outfits a career brings, and I'll only spotlight objects that I believe add gameplay. For the most part, I'll be shining a spotlight on unique interactions, abilities and traits that have significance outside of the career itself. If I miss a career related unlock that you yourself think is important, then please feel free to give it a shout out in the comments down below. Now grab your thermometers as we're going to start out with the doctor career from Get to Work. Notably, when you reach level 6 in this career, you'll gain the ability to determine a baby's gender. And this interaction can be used on sims who are pregnant and at least in their second trimester. Using this on a pregnant sim will simply let you know if that sim is currently set to give birth to a boy or a girl. Then at level 8 in the career, your sim will be awarded with the sickness resistance trait. This trait will simply make it so that your sims have a lower chance of getting sick, and it will also make it so that when they do get sick, they recover faster. Love that for us. We're moving on now to the scientist career from Get to Work, and there's a ridiculous amount of unique object unlocks that really add to gameplay. And while I'm going to try glide through them rather quickly, do know that I'll have a link to some more in-depth guides on these objects in the description. As you progress as a scientist, you'll unlock and be able to make and upgrade inventions and perhaps most notably is the Simray. This can be invented at level 2 of the scientist career and it can be used to freeze other sims, which is great for roleplay. At level 3 in the career, you can upgrade the Simray to transform objects, and this will turn an object into another one at random that's often somewhat related to the first. But know that sometimes things can go horribly wrong and that it can lead to a fire. Transforming cheap objects like inexpensive showers can also see you become rich in seconds, as you'll likely transform them into more expensive objects. While in my opinion they are the best Simray interactions, at level 4 through 9 of the scientist's career, you'll also unlock the ability to upgrade the Simray to be able to perform a range of mind control interactions, and at level 10 it can also also be upgraded to transform a sim which can change a target's skin tone. Now at level 4 of the scientist's career, you'll unlock the satellite dish invention. And once made, you can use this object to prevent abductions or alternatively to contact aliens, which increases the chance of a sim being abducted. And if male sims are abducted, then they might get pregnant with an alien baby. Contacting aliens could also see them show up at your house. And in addition, the satellite dish can be used to start neighborhood hive mines, which instills an effect on everyone in the neighborhood, letting you knock them out, make them pee their pants, break out in dance, and more. The satellite dish can also be upgraded at level 8 of the scientist's career to detect aliens, putting a glow around them and effectively busting any of their disguises. And in addition, if the satellite dish is on your lot, then you'll gain a new alien TV channel, which is very strange. At level 5 of the career, you'll unlock the ability to make the cloning machine, which can be used to clone a range of small objects, including many collectibles. While it will fail on occasion, there is no cooldown, so who really cares? At level 9 in the scientist career, you can also upgrade this machine, allowing it to clone sims and subsequently make things very, very extreme extremely awkwardly weird. But you know, sometimes we want that. Finally, at level 6 in the career, you'll unlock and be able to build the Electroflux Wormhole Generator. Most notably, this machine can be used to contact aliens, which can see one emerge from the portal. Additionally, once upgraded at level 10 of the scientist's career, it can be used to travel to the alien homeworld of 6am. Progressing through the scientist's career will also see you unlock a huge array of serums which are created on a chemistry lab 
with 15 in total to unlock in the career. Various serums have all sorts of powers, and some of my favourites include the ones that instantly slim your sim, make your sim larger, and even make your sim massively muscular in seconds. More standouts include a serum that temporarily turns your sim into a ghost, a serum that temporarily gives you alien powers, and a serum that resets your sim's age to the beginning of their current life stage. That's right, you can now stay young forever. I think we're all ready to move on from the scientist career now, and we're doing just that as we take a look at the critic career from the City Living Expansion Pack. We're going to start out by looking at the Food Critic branch, and at level 8 in this career pathway, your sim will unlock the ability to improve a dish. This can be used on poor or normal quality group dishes to increase their quality. That's right, live a snobby life and say no to normal quality food. If you alternatively go into the Art Critic branch, then at level 7 in the career, your sim will gain the ability to snub art when they are angry, and doing this will help your sim to clear their anger. Angry Moodler. In addition, at level 8 of the Art Critic branch, your sim will be awarded with the Critically Connected trait. This will see your sim receive 20% back on all art purchases that they make, but note that this isn't instant and that it comes in the form of a weekly rebate. Pick up your phone now as we turn to the social media career from the City Living Expansion Pack. Now firstly note that in both branches of this career, you'll unlock a wide array of ways to gain followers easily. But it's in the Internet Personality Branch at level 8 of the career that you'll be able to stream Let's Plays using a computer or a video gaming device. And each stream will net you around 700,000 plus followers. These can be lined up on a computer, started, and then cancelled repeatedly repeatedly for many millions of followers in no time at all. But what will you do with all these followers? Well, at level 7 in the internet personality branch, you'll gain the ability to use a computer to advertise a major product, and at level 10, the ability to advertise a massive sponsorship. This lets you use your followers to make money through advertising. If successful, then advertising a major product will net you 1,500 simoleons, and advertising a massive sponsorship 3,000 simoleons. Note that you will lose followers from running these advertising campaigns and that they can also fail, which leads to you losing your payout too. Note that as you gain more followers, you can eventually earn more than 3,000 simoleons from a massive sponsorship. Now let's turn our attention to the public relations branch of the social media career. At level 5 in this branch, you'll be able to represent a friend, and at level 10, you can represent anyone. What is this representation stuff, you ask? Well, performed using a computer, this interaction starts a campaign to improve the target sim's career performance. Note that you can periodically use a computer to continue your current representation of that sim. Now from my experience, the performance boost should become apparent the next time your sim goes into work, and you might notice the performance bar jump a little bit when they do. In all honesty though, sometimes it's a bit temperamental and I didn't notice all that much. Now, at level 7 in the public relations branch, you'll also unlock new interactions that allow your sim to persuade others to do a range of things, including to smile, which gives the target sim a happy moodlet, to goof off, which gives the target sim a playful moodlet, to rant, which gives the target sim an angry moodlet, and to flirt, which gives the target sim a flirty moodlet. In addition, you can persuade sims to wear a raccoon outfit. While asking sims to do this can fail, it can also see you live your best life causing absolute chaos and we all love taking towny fashion to the next level. Then at level 9 in the PR branch, you'll unlock even more ways to persuade sims, including making them sing, play music, making them play games, perform comedy, getting them to cook, and even sweat it out and work out. The target sim will get a happy moodlet while they then participate in the activity that you got them to do. It's now time for the rather sketchy politician career, which is also from the City Living Expansion Pack. Notably, at level 5 in the politician branch of the politician career, you'll be able to ask sims for a small or a large bribe, 
and these interactions also require level 7 and level 9 of the charisma skill respectively to perform. If successful, then a small bribe will net you 500 simoleons and a large bribe 2000 simoleons. This will also give your sim an embarrassed moodlet for 8 hours and you can't ask for another bribe until this moodlet clears. I must say, points to the Sims team for realism with the corrupt politicians. Now let's shine a spotlight on the actor career from Get Famous, and it's a bit of an odd career for this list as there isn't necessarily hidden rewards. I just wanted to say that the career can lead to a sim becoming highly famous, and this can influence your sim's life through the fame perks and quirks that they acquire, and I'll have links to videos on fame perks and quirks in the description. Now for the military career that comes with the Strangerville game pack. At level 7 in the career, while in the officer branch, you'll gain the ability to order sims around, military style. That's right, it's time to remind people that you're the one in charge. You can order sims to stand to attention and salute you, and to clean. Because what good is being the boss if you can't make people clean up for you? And very weirdly, ordering sims to clean up gives them a happy moodlet for a few hours. Not gonna lie, I cannot relate. In addition, you can order sims to work out in a few different ways. Firstly, to drop and give you 20, essentially making a sim do push-ups, to run a lap, which makes a sim go jogging for a little while, and finally to spar with another sim. And it's amazing how a sim with no training can go straight into being a combat expert. I know, I too wish I could perform moves like that, but if I tried, I'd probably end up in hospital. Now pop on that sunscreen as we soak up the sun and crystal clear waters as a conservationist. And this career will require the Island Living Expansion Pack. Firstly, at rank 6 in the career, you can activate the flower sail on canoes, which provides quite a stunning visual effect. In addition, at rank 9 in both the marine biologist and the environmental manager branches of this career, your sim will unlock the ability to shoot a nature documentary. This costs 500 simoleons and will see your sim disappear into a rabbit hole for a short while before then returning having filmed and popping a video into your inventory. This video can then be licensed to see your sim receive ongoing royalties. Note that if you have the Get Famous expansion pack, then you can pop the video into the More Views video station's inventory and then use the media production skill to edit and ideally improve its quality before you license it. Now, if you go into the Environmental Manager branch, then at rank 7 in the career, you'll also unlock the ability to change global policies in Sulani. This is done through the Consult on Global Policy interaction that can be actioned from the business section of your sim's phone. By repeatedly consulting on policies, you'll enact them, and different policies have various effects such as potentially restricting fishing, causing electricity bills to cut out at certain times, but lowering electricity bills in response, and even giving a coconut rebate, among other things. Then at level 10 in the environmental manager branch, you'll also gain the natural speaker trait. This will provide a small boost to your sim's charisma, for example, even at level 1 charisma, I could perform the level 2 bright and day interaction on other sims. Your sim will also be more successful when enthusing about conservation and spreading conservation awareness with other sims, which is great for if you're looking to restore Moi Pelam fast. On top of this, if you prepare a grant application, which is tied to the conservationist career, then it's more likely to be accepted and lead to a decent payout. If you alternatively specialize as a marine biologist, then at level 10 in the career, you'll gain the Master of the Sea reward trait. This trait lets you become friends with both mermaids and dolphins much easier, which is great for if you're living in Sulani and love aquatic friends. In addition, the trait suggests that you can move around the ocean much more freely, and anecdotally, this did appear to greatly improve the success rate of diving interactions, making it very useful for if your sim free dives or scuba dives in Sulani. And with that, we're at the end. That's a look at some of the more hidden career rewards from the earlier Sims 4 packs. And if you want to know more about hidden career rewards, then there should be a video to watch on hidden base game career rewards on screen now. As always, if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it. And have an amazing day. See you later.